Hey everybody, so hopefully you just watched the video to learn about Georgia O'Keeffe. Now I'm going to show you how to start your drawing with pencil. All right, so first thing, you need to use your thick paper because next time, next week, you might want to use watercolor paints. This is a much better choice for this project. Now, the next thing you need to do is choose your flower. You can go online and look for your own flower or you can look in the Google Slides and choose one of mine. I'm going to do this flower. When I look at this flower and I just want to draw the flower itself, this I think would fit best on a square paper instead of rectangle. This flower would probably fit best on a rectangle paper, right? That would fit best on a paper like this. I want to turn my paper into a square, okay? So um, I'm going to put this up a little higher. Okay, so to turn it into a square, um, I think I showed you this in the last art project. I'm going to measure my paper. Mine is nine inches. I think yours is smaller. So I want it to be nine inches wide. So I'll put a little mark here, nine inches. Put a little mark here, nine inches, so that all the way around is nine inches. Let's make a straight line and I'll cut that out. All right, so now I have a square. If you want to do a rectangle, honestly, this paper is a little bit big. So you actually might want to fold it in half and do your artwork on a smaller paper. Um, yeah, do that because it'll take you a really long time to fill up the whole page. All right, so here's my square and I'm drawing this flower right, right there. Okay, so I'm going to look at the, okay, I had to move things around. I'm going to look right at the center of the flower and I'm going to put it in the center of my page. And it's basically like a circle. Okay, and then there's all these little yellow guys coming out like this. And I'm just going to try my best. It can be hard to draw exactly what you see. Just try your best. Focus on the details. Flowers are from nature, and sometimes nature isn't um, exact and perfect. There's a lot of forgiveness here, so you just try your best. Now, the middle has, like, all these, like, I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to draw, like, all these little lines sort of coming towards the center. So I'm going to draw those too. And then I have, see there's those lines going to the center. And then I have all these wonderful blue petals coming out to the outside edges. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to go like this and I'm going to make them pretty big. I'm going to really fill up my page. Some of them are hiding behind other ones. All right, let me fast forward this. Okay, so that's it. That's my drawing, and this is where I'm going to stop this week. Guys, please put this back in your yellow folder. Save it. You can send me a picture of this if you want to. You do not have to send me a picture of it, okay? But if, if you want, you can send me a picture. I will not grade this. I will grade this when it's colored in after our next lesson. Do not color it yet because I have a very special way of teaching you to color it. Okay, so that's it. Have fun. Try your best. It's a flower, guys. So if it's not perfect, who cares? Flowers are all different. Have fun.